Now, we need to write these improper fractions as mixed numbers. Remember, in an improper fraction, the numerator is larger than the denominator. But in a mixed number, there's a whole number in front of the fraction. Now, the first thing to remember is that the denominator will be the same in the improper fraction and the mixed number. So, for 7 quarters, the denominator of the mixed number will be 4. Now, remember, a fraction is really a division. So, we can find our mixed number by dividing 7 by 4. That's 1 remainder 3, because 1 times 4 is 4, but then we need 3 more to get to 7. So, our mixed number is 1 and 3 quarters. The 1 is our whole number, and the remainder 3 is our numerator. Now, we have 14 fifths. So, 5 will be the denominator of our mixed number. And we can work out our mixed number by dividing 14 by 5. That's 2 remainder 4, because 2 times 5 is 10, but then from 10, we need 4 more to get to 14. So our mixed number is 2 and 4 fifths. The 2 is our whole number, and the remainder 4 is our numerator. Now, 22 sevenths. So the denominator of our mixed number will also be 7, and we need to divide 22 by 7, so divide the numerator by the denominator. 22 divided by 7 is 3 remainder 1, because 3 times 7 is 21, but then from 21 we need one more to get to 22. So our mixed number is 3 and 1 7. Our whole number is 3, our remainder 1 is the numerator, so we have 3 and 1 7. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now, I'll see you in the next video.